Hey everyone, welcome to the results video of the second Invent Your Own Ride contest. Uh, in this contest, the players had to uh, yeah, put together some sort of ride uh, using the cheats that OpenRC2 allows and plugins and, and whatever. Just uh, create some sort of ride where uh, some of the things were uh, yeah, different. Now well, we got 12 entries uh, this round, uh, including one of mine. And some of them, uh, like the one you see now, are really crazy. But yeah, um, I'll start with the entry that got the lowest score, and I'll finish by announcing who is the winner of this round. Alright, in uh, 12th place we have the entry from Wes. And Wes created this, um, yeah, this uh, little shuttle coaster, which uh, has these um, multi-dimension coaster vehicles on them. And uh, I believe they are also uh, reversed. So it looks kind of like a wing coaster. Yeah, I mean, it's a really small entry, like we're used of uh, this. Um, I think it actually looks like a fun little coaster. Uh, yeah, I uh, like the way that it uh, that it looks. It's just a fun little layout. Uh, what I like most about this entry is actually uh, the this fence around the coaster and the rock work. I think that uh, that actually looks really nice. Also, this little uh, sign uh, which the guests pass under um, the ride called Scorpia. I guess this is supposed to look like a teeth of some sort. I think it looks uh, pretty cool. But yeah, um, people tend to uh, score these uh, smaller entries a bit lower. So that's uh, most likely why we find this one at the last place. All right, then we have the entry from Fitball and 3DS Bacon. And they teamed up to create this Aero prototype coaster, which is a launched um, suspended swinging coaster. So over here we see the station. Uh, I really love this queue. Um, I believe they based it on an existing walkway somewhere in the Grand Canyon. And here in the middle, I guess, can also do a bungee jump. I think that's really cool. Now here we could see the coaster get launched from the station. And then it uh, travels through the landscape here, twisting. Uh, alongside these uh, these rock formations and over this river and these waterfalls here. I think the uh, interaction with the landscape actually is pretty nice. Then here's the second launch. It goes steeply up and then over here uh, there's just some hills up and down. Finally a final helix and then back to the station. Now I think the highlights of this entry are the station of the ride. I think that looks really cool also with the black glass. The queue, like I just mentioned, and uh, I also really love the interaction with the landscape in uh, in this part. Um, some things which I think could have been improved is maybe the second half of the coaster. Um, yeah, it just has these up and down sections here. I think this uh, type of coaster is more known for um, yeah twisting and swinging these vehicles to the left and to the right. Um, but yeah. Um, other than this ride, um, there's just some uh, lower buildings and the rest is just landscaping. And um, yeah, people usually also tend to give the entries uh, that have some more interesting stuff to them. So maybe some more rides, uh, a bit of a higher score. But yeah, overall, I think it looks really nice. And uh, the landscaping is definitely a highlight for me. Okay, then we have the entry from Kazrak. And Kazrak made this a uh, really cool... Um, yeah, Probably an in, uh, infinity coaster. Just test this gear coaster track and these uh, floorless vehicles uh, on them. These floorless trains. Now it's a triple launch coaster. I believe the station is uh, in one of these buildings. I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, it's actually here in the in the pyramid. So uh, yeah, the, this train leaves here from the pyramid, then it gets launched through these uh, uh, through these ruins. But uh, in the story, that's something that the uh, people that were here didn't want to actually build through the ruins. So they built some teleporters uh, at the entrance and exit to the ruins. So the coaster car would just uh, fly or teleport right through them. So that's uh, that's the gimmick of this uh, coaster, the teleporting sections. I think that's uh, that's a pretty cool way of... Uh, well, I think it's uh, integrated into this, uh, into this park and in the story pretty well. No, I like the color scheme of the coaster. Um, I think the purple and the cyan uh, go together pretty well. And yeah, I uh, actually really like some of these uh, interaction points of the coaster, especially for example, this uh, zero G roll here over the restaurant. I think that's uh, that's really neat. 
That's also some other rides in the park. We can see a river rapids right here, which bumps into this empty boat. And uh, over here we can also see some uh, go-karts. I think these uh, barriers um, probably would have been a little bit nicer if it, uh, maybe if, it, if the single rail coaster, for example, was used. Maybe with some steeple chase on top. I think that that would have looked uh, uh, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I'm, overall, I'm, I, I'm a big fan of this park. I think it looks uh, pretty nice. Maybe also some of uh, these parts uh, could have used a little bit more decoration. Maybe some actual buildings, some ruins. But uh, overall, I think it looks uh, really good. All right, um, next up is my entry. I decided to uh, once again build an underwater uh, area, just like I did in Imagination Mega Park. And what I built was actually a, a, yeah, a submarine uh, roller coaster. So uh, here you can see these uh, submarine trains. So basically, I just put three of these submarine vehicles uh, after each other, and I put an invisible uh, um, roller coaster vehicle in front. So, um, so they are no longer powered vehicles and they would be affected by gravity like most normal rides. Now, as for the track, um, I wanted them to be suspended, but I really liked the single rail coaster track. So I hid all the original supports and the supports that you can see here are all uh, custom uh, supports. Or they are actually supports for an invisible ride. So uh, all these supports that you see here, uh, I place them uh, manually with a different invisible ride. I think uh, it gives a nice effect and it allows you to uh, make it look like the single rail coaster is actually uh, for a yeah, suspended uh, track. Now, uh, oh, as for the ride itself, uh, over here we have the big station for the ride. It's a huge castle. Um, yeah, I wanted to give some to have some different biomes uh, in the in the area. I played a lot of Subnautica in the past few weeks. So um, yeah, for this area, I was uh, inspired by the kelp forest. So you can see lots of these plants around here. Um, over here, it's just, uh, I want to make it sort of look like a coral reef, but also some just some uh, uh, plants here with bright colors. And over here, we have more of a volcanic area. Um, the plants here are a deep red color. And there's also this uh, um, sea dragon, which pops out of this hole every now and then. And you can see some of these uh, volcanic fans here with uh, bubbles coming out of them. Yeah, I think uh, considering the amount of the little amount of time that I spent on this entry, uh, I think uh, this uh, yeah pretty much got the score that it deserved, and I'm uh, really happy with it. Okay, here's the entry from Nati's Dreamland, and Nati um, tried to build an access coaster. So it's one of those coasters which has uh, um, a vehicle running on the track and then the cars are sort of uh, suspended and the vehicle can uh, move the cars all around the track. Something like that. So that's uh, what this coaster is supposed to emulate. So that's why you uh, see these coaster trains uh, always uh, off the track by a bit. And you can see them uh, move around. Now I think it's pretty difficult to actually uh, emulate an access coaster in uh, Rollercoast Tycoon. So it's all the more impressive that the Nati uh, also tried to um, do it. I think their result in the end is pretty nice. Now, I, in the beginning, I didn't actually read the story pretty well. So I thought this coaster was just floating off the track. Um, yeah, because this uh, park was uh, love themed. Uh, I thought maybe they were so much in love that they were just floating, something like that. <laughs> But yeah, later I read it properly and then I read it was actually an access coaster. But yeah, there's also some other nice stuff in the park. Here we can see a merry-go-round that's uh, sitting in this in these Colosseum uh, pieces. I think that uh, actually works really well. I think that they're a great uh, combination of track pieces and, uh, and uh, attraction. So yeah, that was actually one of my favorite uh, spots in the park. But also this uh, townscape is also pretty nice with all these houses with different colors. You can see a mountain of sorts here with a waterfall going down. Yeah, um, overall uh, I think this is a great looking map. Okay, here we have the entry from Lurker. Uh, Lurker created this uh, island themed after uh, casinos or uh, gambling or chance games. Um, you can see several uh, rides themed to, uh, to gambling here. Or two games and the main attraction is of course this coaster it's called the uh, blink coaster 
So it uh, gets launched here and travels uh, through these sections here. It actually has a spiral lift hill over here. Some of the cars travel forwards and some of them travel backwards, apparently. I think that's also a nice touch. And finally, at some point, they uh, end up here at uh, Plinko. And then they uh, move back and forth uh, several times. Uh, before ending, finally ending up in one of these uh, boxes. I think that's a really cool idea. And uh, yeah, I think it's really nicely executed. It's also uh, fun to uh, finally s see a lurker use the, the recolorable uh, scenery pieces uh, for once. I don't uh, often see him use this uh, bench. So it's uh, really nice to see what he uh, um, came up with uh, this time. Yeah, I think this ride is really cool. Also, some really cool decorations like this roulette wheel here on top. Um, and yeah, other than that, uh, you can still see uh, Lurker's typical style here with some of these uh, uh, half round roofs here. Uh, but overall, I, just, I think it's just really nicely decorated. Okay, next entry is from Johnson. Uh, Johnson made this uh, spooky entry. Um, over here, we can see a, a big station for the coaster. Uh, I think that the station looks really cool. It's a really nice uh, big mansion and there's all these uh, ghosts flying around uh, Here we can see the coaster that uh, Johnson created and it's um, uh, One of these uh, spinning coasters It's actually called Ride to Scariness uh, Obviously a pun on Ride to Happiness uh, So yeah, you want to make one of these uh, extreme spinning coasters uh, but of course uh, we don't uh, actually allow custom vehicles in these uh, contests. So the only spinning vehicle that we actually have, uh, I believe, are these spinning wild mouse cars. And of course they don't have sprites for inversions. So it does look a little bit silly uh, as they pass through them. But uh, I think uh, Johnson uh, did a really nice job on the layout. I think these uh, inversions look pretty cool. Although the supports over here for this Cobra roll might be a little bit too uh, bulky, in my opinion. But uh, there are some other cool support sections here. We can see a giant uh, skeleton. Kind of looks like a dinosaur. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's uh, just a really cool uh, looking entry. entry. Um, I quite like the color scheme that uh, Johnson uh, used. And also, uh, I think the decoration here for the side of the map is also pretty cool. Okay, here's the entry from... Uh, in error, predicting a fault and Max Arceus and together um, they created this entry and uh, st first starts off with a story about several rides in this park. Uh, well, I'm not going to go uh, through this uh, story here because it's a lot of text and it would be a little bit too much to fit it all into this uh, video. But basically it just shows uh, several rides that are in the park, uh, including this uh, huge uh, um, <laughs> shoestring ride which has uh, a ton of vehicles in it so I think it's now waiting for it to completely fill up and uh, here we can see all these uh, guests uh, go around I think this uh, this ride looks uh, super cool yeah it's definitely uh, one of the highlights of the park I think and then uh, finally uh, you end up at uh, this uh, humongous Ferris wheel kind of ride uh, I uh, really had to uh, laugh when I uh, when I saw this ride. It's just uh, insane. The story was also pretty fun because I believe it's a 14-hour ride or something. And at some point, some guests fell uh, fell asleep, according to the story. And then uh, they actually had to ride it all again, which uh, gave some problems. <laughs> but yeah, if we, uh, if I look at the ride, uh, if we go to the station, 159 people in the queue. Well, they will be queuing for a long time before this ride finally stops and it says there's uh, 20, uh, 352 people on the ride <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty insane but yeah I, uh, I think the ride looks really cool with all these cog wheels all this support track and all these ferris wheels which are used as uh, yeah, wheels for propulsion of the ride <laughs> yeah I think it, uh, it looks insane and it's definitely one of the funniest uh, entries of this round now we can also see some other cool stuff uh, in the park. Um, I, th I really like these buildings, they look great. Also this is one of my favorite buildings, a beautiful brick facade here with some glass stuff in the background. But here's some other nice uh, residential uh, buildings. But yeah, overall um, I think this is a really cool looking entry and a really funny uh, main ride in the park. All right, in fourth place we have the entry from Astray Life and he uh, made a park full of uh, cool rides. Uh, lots of uh, shoestring going on. 
yeah, just uh, he uh, actually created quite a few uh, tutorials for making rides like these. And you can see uh, several of them here uh, in action. Uh, I really like the roof for this uh, merry-go-round. I think this uh, roof style looks really cool. Uh, looks pretty simple to make, but uh, really effective. You can see lots of rainbows in the park, because it's uh, apparently called Rainbow Park. I really love this uh, entrance. These towers look really cool with a nice color gradient as well. You can also see the color gradient in some of these flowers. Uh, that uh, this makes for some really neat uh, decorations. I also really like this uh, maze with these really cool uh, arch buildings with towers. Really nice. Uh, some other really cool rides like this parachute tower. But uh, uh, the guests actually have a submarine uh, above them. It kind of looks like uh, some sort of air balloon. I think that's, uh, that's also a really neat trick. Now, and uh, finally, here we have the main ride of the park. Here we can see a tilt coaster. So the train goes uh, horizontally uh, forward here. And then finally, uh, it does some weird stuff. And then it ends up vertically like here. Uh, apparently, uh, there's a shoestring with a holding brake. So it keeps the train like that. And then it uh, travels through the rest of the layout. <laughs> yeah, it's a, I think it's a pretty neat trick. Um, I love that it actually waits vertically for a bit before it drops down. Of course, the way to there does look uh, a little bit silly, but uh, I also don't know of a better way to uh, to do this. Okay, first, it waits here for a bit. I believe it's actually a block break that does that. Now you can see it does some uh, weird stuff. <laughs> And then uh, it ends up here vertically, uh, also waiting. So yeah, probably some uh, magic uh, going on underground to uh, actually make this uh, happen like this. But uh, yeah, I think it's a really cool trick. Maybe uh, I actually recall reading something that wasn't actually a shoe string. So maybe this is all the track there's to it. Of course, there are some of it is invisible. But uh, yeah, a really neat trick uh, nonetheless. And I also really like the way uh, he supported it with all this stuff here going on. So yeah, I think it's a really cool entry from Astray Life, uh, and it's just full of uh, nice looking uh, and interesting rides. By the way, um, you can check out all these uh, entries for yourself um, uh, after this video ends. So all these rides will be available in the Ride Creation Contest archive on my Discord server. And you can find a link to my Discord server in the video description. And Discord is completely free. Alright, next entry is from Immortal Cactus and Low Poly. Now, I'm always a big fan of uh, Immortal Cactus' uh, his, uh, creations. And yeah, here we can see an elevator in a building rising up. And, and now it looks like a train that just came out, it goes down vertically here. And it just takes the guests through these uh, weird uh, inversions. I have no idea what kind of ride this is. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he basically just invented a new kind of ride. Probably would be slightly uncomfortable slamming into the brakes here, but uh, this ride just looks insanely cool. Yeah, it does these uh, really weird things here. Here it goes through uh, some sort of uh, inversion where it climbs up, and then at some point it drops down again and uh, does some more uh, shenanigans uh, over here. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's a it's a really cool looking ride. Also, the support work um, uh, is insane. Yeah, it's just it's just really weird and uh, and really fun to follow. Uh, it's also really nicely decorated. Uh, I love how uh, Immortal Cactus made this sign over here. Uh, yeah, the buildings look nice, and uh, yeah, together with Low Poly, um, they just made a, a really nice uh, scene over here. You also see some rock work over here. Uh, with lots of these, uh, um, I believe they're called the Jurassic fence uh, pieces. Also some of these castle towers buried into the ground. And some uh, trees also colored in, the, in gray. And yeah, that, that's uh, what a lot of people seem to use lately to actually make uh, nice looking uh, rock work. Uh, something which I'm also a really big fan of is this little plaza here in the middle. I think that also looks really cool. So yeah, um, overall, um, um, I think Immortal Cactus and Low Poly uh, did a great job together. Now, there's just two entries remaining. I will first show both of them, and after that, I will reveal which one is the winner of this round. Alright, here's the entry from Enox and Josh. Now, they uh, teamed up to create this uh, great looking, uh, yeah, it looks like a model train uh, or table with a mono, uh, model train on top of it, or a model train uh, setup. 
Um, so over here we see a little station uh, where guests uh, board um, one of these two vehicles. And there's actually some shenanigans going on uh, where first it looks like they're pulled by this uh, locomotive. And finally later when they arrive at this station, uh, a different locomotive appears which uh, um, yeah, pulls them back to the station over here. Maybe I can show it in action. Um, I'll just, uh, well, actually it won't follow the train because there's some underground stuff uh, going on. So I'll just uh, speed it up a little bit while we follow the train manually. You can see it uh, go into the station. So the first locomotive uh, leaves by locomotive. And here comes the second one. And it hooks up to these vehicles and then it takes them back uh, to the station over here. It actually follows a different track. But yeah, I think it's a really neat trick. It does take a while for the guests to actually uh, uh, yeah, be towed away at the station. Of course, uh, I have the game sped up now, so it uh, doesn't take as long. But yeah, I think it's a really neat trick. No, not sure what's going on here. Probably some uh, missing uh, tiles. Oh, that's uh, because I hit uh, the scenery. It was uh, my fault. But yeah, um... <laughs> I think it's just a, it's just a really neat trick over here. Now this was the main ride that everybody had to ride. Now uh, Josh uh, said he mostly helped build this fair over here. So uh, yeah, here we can see a little fair section. Here's a small um, uh, junior coaster ride, the dragon uh, at the front, and some other rides as well. Some uh, parked cars, very messy, and uh, we can also see some cars driving around this entry. And some really, uh, there's some really cool looking industrial buildings uh, around the area. Especially this train depot over here is just, uh, uh, it just looks amazing. Yeah, um, I think uh, Enox and Josh uh, together uh, just create a beautiful uh, build. Okay, and here we have the final entry of this round. This one was made by 94 Supreme Posse, Ball Pit Warrior and Monster Bucks. So yeah, players were allowed to uh, have bigger teams in this round. And this was actually the only team of three players that we had. But yeah, together they uh, created this uh, wonderful coaster here, which actually has an inverted coaster and a sit-down coaster sharing the same track. And at some point uh, they split up and then they meet at the station again. But yeah, I think they're uh, synchronized uh, really nicely. And it's really fun to uh, follow them uh, throughout this uh, cityscape. Now, um, yeah, this cityscape uh, just is uh, <laughs> amazing. It's just mind blowing. I mean, uh, these high rise, bu high rise buildings uh, over here. Um, yeah, they're just uh, <laughs> incredible. Also with all these uh, um, signs over here, it's Lucky Sevens, these uh, scrolling signs. Uh, I believe they're actually made with coaster vehicles. But also just the structure of these uh, buildings. Um, yeah, it's uh, almost hard to believe they uh, created this with just base game objects and track pieces and recolorable versions of base game objects. Uh, these signs over here, um, yeah, they're just done in such a clever way. Um, but yeah, these buildings, they just look incredible. Probably the most incredible building is actually this building, which looks like it's on a half diagonal. <laughs> and it's uh, insane that they uh, managed to create this, uh, mostly with the track pieces, uh, it looks like. But yeah, that's just wonderful. Uh, inf lots of infrastructure in this map, like this uh, train station. This uh, dome roof that they managed to create also uh, looks amazing. All these little shops next to it. Uh, there's also some uh, uh, naughty stuff going on here in the corner. There's a little shady area in the corner, very dark. Yeah, this uh, map is just uh, so fun to explore. And I've probably uh, not even seen all the details that these players put in. So I think it's a really cool coaster that they built over here. Um, and this entry is just uh, wonderful. All right, um, now it's time to reveal which one of these last two entries is the winner of this round. Is it this uh, Japanese style city from 94 Supreme Posse, Ball Pit Warrior and Monster Bucks? Or is this beautiful train model scape from Inox and Josh? And the winner of the second Invent Your Own Ride contest is...
The Japanese style entry from 94 Supreme Posse, Ball Pit Warrior and Monster Bucks. Now I, I don't think it's a surprise that this entry won. Um, it got a really high score and I think it was uh, definitely a, a cut above all the other entries. Uh, these three players, uh, yeah, they did such an incredible job. There's such, uh, uh, such uh, an amount of, uh, such an insane amount of detailing everywhere. And yeah, it's uh, it's just such a, yeah, I think uh, people will be uh, talking about this entry for a long time uh, to come. It's just uh, so full of nice details. It's, uh, it's incredible. Yeah, um, I think we had lots of uh, really beautiful entries in this round. Um, and it definitely was quality over quantity. Um, all these entries uh, were great. Even the entries that uh, scored on the lower end were uh, already uh, amazing in my eyes. All right, um, yeah, that's uh, going to be it for this video. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed watching these entries, uh, please don't forget to give this video a like. It would really help out my channel. And if you want to see more videos like these, uh, you can always subscribe to my channel. All right, a new contest will start soon. Uh, if you want to join one of these contests, uh, yeah, just become a member on my Discord server. You can find a link in the video description and it's completely free. Uh, these contests are for people of all skill levels. So uh, even the beginners uh, are very welcome in these contests. And I think it's a great way uh, to learn. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.